Hello, this is Ellie from Magic Beans, and in this video, I'm going to be comparing the 2017 Bugaboo Chameleon and the 2017 Bugaboo Donkey, two amazing strollers for a Bugaboo. Now remember, if you have any questions during this video, you can just leave your comments below or email me your questions to questions at mbeans.com. So we have a Bugaboo Chameleon here with the orange canopy and the Bugaboo Donkey with the ice blue canopy. Um, so I'll be comparing these two strollers today. Um, the main difference between these two strollers is that this is a single stroller and the chameleon is a single stroller and the donkey is a single stroller that converts to a double stroller. So I don't always recommend getting a single stroller that converts to a double stroller unless you are absolutely sure that you love it as a single stroller. When you're a new parent, you want to feel great about the stroller that you're pushing. You want to get out of the house. You want to meet new parents. So if you don't absolutely love that single stroller, um, you need to make sure that you do, and I would sort of forego the fact that it converts to a double. But the Donkey is an absolutely fantastic stroller, and so I would highly recommend it, and I'll show you why just in a second. In fact, let me show you the Donkey first. So my first two kids, right now they're 14 and 12, but back a long time ago, they were 23 months apart, they were two little babies, and I live in um, right on the outskirts of Boston in Brookline, Massachusetts, where we do a ton of walking. And this would have been a fantastic stroller for me if it existed back 12 years ago, um, but it didn't. So um, it has air fill tires. So of all the Bugaboo strollers, the only one with air fill tires. And I think that air fill tires really have the best for performance. They do add some weight to the stroller, but in terms of the way that it maneuvers, this pushes absolutely beautifully. Now you may also notice that there is this thing on the side that is sort of uncommon. It is a side luggage basket. So if you go to the farmer's market, if you go to your regular supermarket and you do everything by foot, you can put your stuff right into the basket. Great for transporting more of your stuff. And now, most of the, the Bugaboo strollers are on this type of a format where you have a stroller seat, but it also um, turns into um, a bassinet. So when you first get the stroller, um, this seat is going to have another piece of fabric that is a bassinet. So it starts as a bassinet and then you'll turn it into this uh, toddler seat um, when the baby gets to be just a, you know, a little bit bigger, maybe you know, two, three, four months old or so, depending on the size of the baby. The other thing that makes this um, stroller great is that it can expand into a double stroller. Let me show you how that works. So you remove the side luggage basket and there are actually these three clips, one on the front, one on the back, and one on the top. And once you undo those three clips, what you do is you just lean the stroller on its side and there's a white button right in there. Remember, when it comes to Bugaboo, if there is a white piece, it has a function. That comes right out. Pull out the handlebar all the way. And then what you'll do is you will close up the clips. Make sure that you pull out the stroller all the way because that is really going to help you get those clips closed. But it, that's pretty common um, for, the, for the donkey to have to pull it really, really all the way open in order to make that clip close. But then you know it's done properly. All right, now that it's opened, you can add your bassinet, your second bassinet to this. And you can see that it is, um, so the cool thing is, is that even with two seats, it's under 30 inches wide. So it could fit, fit through a standard size internal door of your house. Um, and it can for sure go through any handicapped um, door um, in your sort of uh, uh, public ways. Um, the seats go in both directions. So if you want to have the bassinet facing you and you also want the stroller seat facing, facing you, you can just click that in together. Boom. And has a nice solid click, like you know you're getting something of quality and these are really, really high quality strollers. Um, in terms of folding up the stroller, now you can fold it with the seats attached, but for me, I really prefer taking the seats off. So you just push the little buttons on the side, these white buttons, and it removes so quickly, so easily. Um, you can use this with a car seat adapter. Um, or a twin car seat adapter. It actually can take two car seats if you have twins and that's um, your, your life and your, your family style. Um, now that this, the seats are off, what I do is I push the handlebar down. So that is the adjustable handlebar, telescoping handlebar. And now there are these triggers. You push these right down. That goes down to your feet and you flip it over and now it's down. And then you can just take your seats and sort of stack it on top 
it makes it quite compact. Um, I do a video um, which you can click over right here, um, how to make a bugaboo donkey super small. Click over, I think that'll be um, really helpful for you if you want some extra tips into folding down the stroller. Um, to open the stroller back up, um, it doesn't just open, you need to re-push these triggers. Then you click, it open and opens back up again. And then you can attach attach the seats and attach the bassinet. Now I'm going to show you something pretty cool. Um, and we're going to talk about the chameleon in just a, a second. Do you have questions? Email me your questions at questions at beads.com. I want to hear your bugaboo questions. I just love talking bugaboo. Okay, we're going to open up those little clips again. One, two, three, put on the side, and then push in that back in together. So you're seeing the stroller. It has this side luggage basket on the side, and you're like, even for a single stroller, that is super wide. There are small doors in the town that I live. I'm never going to get inside um, a door with this. Not true. This is actually 23 inches wide, and I have that chameleon right here. And if you actually put it back to back, um, it is the same width. So at the wheelbase, it's 23 inches wide. That is the widest part of the stroller. But if you look at the donkey, the wheels are set inside. So if you're putting them back to back, the, the, the end of the wheelbase and the end of the wheelbase here is the same. So no worries, they're actually the same width um, as, um, they're actually the same width, great. And the difference is the seat is a little bit smaller um, on the donkey, obviously to make up for the side luggage basket. You do need to get the side luggage basket. There's no sort of option of it without it. But it's a cool thing and people who have it absolutely love it. So here we have the chameleon. Um, it doesn't turn into a double stroller, but it is really, really a fantastic stroller. So um, let's, just, let's just talk about the chameleon thing from the get-go. People don't like the chameleon for two, well, they think they don't like a chameleon for two reasons. One, they think it's hard to fold, and the second thing is that it folds in two pieces. So we hear that time and time again, but let me show you that let me like demystify that for you for a second. Um, so the first thing is, it is not hard to fold. Um, we just need to teach you how to do it. Let me teach you how to fold the chameleon. So you have these sort of um, two white pieces. The circle is actually a recline, and the lower piece here, the rectangle, is a button. Push in the button on both sides. The seat removes in one second. All right. Put this down on the ground. Now you have the second piece, the chassis little buttons on the interior with your thumbs. And actually, if you lean pressure onto the stroller, the buttons don't depress. But if you just give it a little slight jiggle up, those buttons push, um, um, push perfectly, goes right down to the ground, and it goes right down, and boom, you put it all together in one piece. So um, it is not hard to fold, and even to unfold, it's really nice. Just open the stroller till you hear a click, and you open it back up, and then, again, you put your stroller seat right back on to the frame. Click, nice, strong click. Um, so the reason why folding in two pieces is not a big deal, it's because um, altogether, this is about like 21, 22 pounds, the stroller, if you're lifting it all in one piece. But because it folds in two pieces, you're never lifting one heavy thing. You're holding a lighter seat and a lighter chassis. So um, if you don't like um, carrying heavy things, or if you live in the suburbs and you just want to put the chassis in your trunk, it's going to be very light to put in your trunk. And I'm also going to show you a little trick here. So remove the seat, put it down on the ground. Now, again, fold down that stroller, you push the buttons, goes down, okay? Now fold it upside down, okay? Then take the, the stroller and put it right on top of the handlebar. So you'll see that there is a rectangle here and the handlebar is coming right through. If you do that, you can actually lift it in one piece. So if you're worried about transporting it and carrying or lugging around two pieces, if you do it like this, you'll be able to carry it around in one piece. Finally, I'm going to show you the last thing about the chameleon, which is different from the donkey. And different from most other strollers, this is a pretty unique feature to the chameleon is that you can actually take the handlebar 
and move it to the other side. So now you can push those 12 inches right through the snow, through the mulchy playground in your neighborhood. You can get um, that 12 and a half inch wheels pushing forward and then just push those buttons again. And now you moved your handlebar back um, to the sort of the regular position. So that's my comparison of the chameleon and the donkey. You may have more questions about these two strollers that we need to personalize for you. That's what we're all about at Magic Bean. So what you can do is you can leave a comment on your comment below. Um, if you like this video, please give us a like. It makes a huge difference. Um, these videos help so many parents all over the country, all over the world. And so liking it makes a difference. And also subscribe to our channel to get more video comparisons like these. And of course, if you want to um, ask me a question, you can just email me a question to questions at mbeans.com. I answer the questions. I have a team of stroller matchmakers, highly trained, who are going to help you figure out what stroller is best for your lifestyle. And finally, I have a bonus for you. So I've had over 25 strollers for my three children over the past 14 years. That is a lot. I've made lots of stroller buying mistakes. And I've also, in 12 years of Magic Beans, have helped literally thousands of customers choose the right stroller for them and for their lifestyle. And over those 12 years, I've come up with the five biggest mistakes that parents make or expecting parents to make when shopping for a stroller. So if you click over at mbeans.com right now, I'm going to give you a special bonus video all about those five mistakes. And hopefully that will help you. Again, this is Ellie from Magic Beans. I can't wait to hear from you.